hi hello welcome to tech harvest today i am going to show you the detailed video about the lbm configuration in ubuntu 18.04 so for lbm we need add some storage in the existing server so there are two types of lbm configuration is there so i am going to do with the standard partition mm, what i mean i have already the standard partition of the root in that if any case that disk space is full so i need to go into mount one lvm storage on the uh, any uh, root partition uh, so i am going to create one uh, test lvm folder in root then i mounted that after that the root space will be increased so let's get into the video and before started my server i am going to add the two storages for that first go to the settings so i have the lvm test ubuntu server and I click on settings and things and go to the storage selected uh, the controller sda <laughs> and add article drive so choose this of sata sorry um, so we need to add a hard disk create new hard disk so i am going to add a two hard disk only selvium one and the one more is lbm2 okay, okay sorry and one more i'm going to add lbm2 and both it will be on 10 gp so i am created virtual disk image so the setup has been done i'm going to start the server I am logging as a his guest. And uh, this is the small request to the viewers who are watching the video. Please subscribe our channel. So this is motivate for us and also you will get the latest configuration videos on Ubuntu 18.04. So we already added a two hard disk in virtual parts. So for that we able to check from F disk hyphen L. So I am not a root user sudo so F disk hyphen L. So we enter the password again. <laughs> so I am going to app and so one is dev stb and one more is dev sdc so two hard disk has been added so first we need to create physical value and second we need to create value group and third we need to create a logical value so these are the things we need to do so first we need to create the physical value so how it will be there currently so if you have one new if you purchase any new hard disk it will be uh, without any partition it will be there so we need to partition that so I am going to partition my disk so sudo fdisk hyphen fdb So just do one enter. So first it will be asking for partition type. So give p for enter and the partition number. I just go with the default value. And first sector also I go with default value. And the last sector also I go with the default value. So <coughs> the new partition has been created. 
so view l it will be showing the all partition type so i need to choose the 8e that means the lbm so how we can select for the so now i am giving n once you given the n it will be showing the partition type so we need to select that as a primary and partition table as a default first sector as a default and last sector as a default so the partition will be created if you need to to add the label so for that i given t so selected partition one and if you need a list of the all codes give a l and go above and i need the label of linux lbm so now i am giving 8e 8e as in lbm so given change the type of partition linux to linux lbm so it will be changed and you don't need to save just to give one double click and it will be saved and then the same thing we need to do for the sign partition also so sudo dev sdc sorry sudo fdisk sdc given as primary enter 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 and the type of partition is 8e and that this will be changed from linux to linux lbm and save so once the changes will be saved we able to see the same command fdisk hyphen yeah. so now go above and so see here the device has been added dev sdb1 and dev sdc1 so both device has been added so now we are going to enter the lvm first we need to create the physical volume and second we need to create the volume group and the third we need to create the logical volume so before that we need to check that uh, any physical value is there for that we will display command will help so currently i don't have the lvm package for install lvm same as it will be show sudo apt install lvm2 install lvm2 so it will be download around 8 mb and given the yes once it will be download we able to see the commands need to wait so the package will be installed now we able to check sudo pv display so there is no physical value in my system so it will be showing as a empty we need to create the physical value so for that so for creating physical value sudo pv create dev sdb1 and dev sdc so once pv has create successful now we we'll check with this command sudo pv display and it will be showing the two physical values 10 10 gb so once physical value create we need to create the volume group so for creating volume group we need to give vg create and volume group name so i am give take august vg space and we need to give the device name dev yes d b1 space dev yes dc1 so again i forget sudo 
Okay, tech harvest VG has been created. For viewing this one, you will need to give sudo VG display. So I have a created value in group name as a tech harvest VG and format as LBM2 and VG size is 20 GB. So it will be create and we need to do the final that is logical value creation. So I am going to create as a single logical value for that LV sudo LV create so space hyphen large L and I'm going to use in this value group only 15 G P and U N I'm going to give the logical value name as a take a host LB so LB means logical value and one more we need to give the welding group that is tech harvest vg so logical volume also create so we lv display that is so simple command that is uh, lv for give the logical volume we need to give lv display you will need view the volume group vg display and if you need view the physical value given as a 3d display that's it so all the things has been created now we need to map this device to the any partition for that disk hyphen l so sudo of this hyphen L. So there is path is there dev mapper tech harvest VG and hyphen tech harvest LV 15 GP. We created all the things we need to format the value. So MKFS that I am going to format ht4 and dev mapper harvest vg i can take harvest lb so we just give an enter so same as sudo yeah it is done so the value is formatted and we need to mount this one some path so here it is I have the root partition is 10 GP that is STA1 so if it is full I need to mount this value in somewhere on KDAR so I go to create the directory backup able to give this so I already created the backup and mount so that is server so this is my part of the LVM so I just copy this one and sudo mount so first I give the path of logical value and the mount backup 
so now it is mounted so it will be mounted successfully there is dev mapper tech hub is to be easy and it will be 15 gp is available if your root partition has been filled so just you want this value and try to move the unwanted file to this group so if it is fill also you able to add one more value and you easily attach to the value group so we need to add the mount partition in fs tab so sudo vi etc fs tab so we enter that this password and we need to enter the partition so open one more terminal and give the df and just to copy this one and paste it here so we need to end up we need to come end up the file and give enter paste it and also we need to enter the mount and then we need to give the mount point backup and the file system xt4 and write and quit so once we will reboot and check the mount file so the system is rebooted now just to give an df icon hatch so the mount point is there that's it we have mounted the LVM in this video that's it we go with part 2 video in that we be able to see the value group extension and logical value extension and also some deep inside of LVM commands if you have any doubt about this video you please mention in comment I will try to solve that